What up, Dokoners? Welcome back to Tsunami for another video on Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle. In today's video, we are finally tackling the Max Link Showcase for Metarildo. I know this guy's been around for a little while, he's old news, but I've been wanting this guy to be Max Links for a while, so I didn't want to do a showcase until I got that done. But now that he is done, I want to see how good this team can be at this current juncture in Global's lifespan. We don't have the same name update. We don't have a GT bosses. We don't really have a very robust category for GT bosses. There aren't too many. So I want to see how this unit can run on a dual Super 17 team in the Legendary Goku event. This is primarily a showcase for him. So if we can win, that's a bonus. But if we don't, I'm not going to stress over it. I'm just going to do this one try. Plus, I know you guys like commentary with me doing the actual run instead of recording it after the fact and then doing VO and all that. So I'm going to try this out. This guy is an STR lead, key plus 390% across the board, greatly raises defense for one turn, raises attack indefinitely, causes supreme damage, and lowers attack. The lowering attack part is going to be useful in the first round. Other than that, that part's useless. But we mainly want to see how strong this guy can get with max links, with that infinite attack stacking, and then his defense. I want to see how well that can hold up on the latter stages of the Legendary Goku event. His passive, defense plus 120 at the start of the turn, attack plus 120 when performing a super attack, GT bosses category allies, key plus 2, defense plus 40%, plus an additional attack and defense plus 60%, attacks effective against all types and high chance of stunning the attacked enemy for 2 turns, when there is a GT heroes category enemy, recovers 5% of the HP at the end of the turn in which attack was received. So basically, you raise your defense, you get hit, you'll heal a little bit. You provide some key and stat support for GT bosses. We don't have too many GT bosses on this team. Only the ones that really matter would be the Super 17 and then this guy. And then he gets stronger when fighting in the Legendary Goku event GT edition because he's a GT hero across the board. So what I want to do is run this guy with another stacking unit, the Perfect Cell Angel. So this guy falls under the Androids category. So it, it is a very obscure team. The reason why I'm running it this way is just so that I can have the Super 17 gain a pretty decent multiplier from all of the units that we have on the team so he is a gt bosses and androids lead he gets stronger each turn or not each turn but the turn that he's on if he's got target gokus and androids on the team his stats increase dramatically so basically what i want to do is have two stacking units on each rotation so it's going to be meta rildo and the perfect cell angel in one rotation have the EZA Android 17 and 18 on the other rotation. These guys will cover each other. They they don't share any links with Rildo, I think, except for maybe like Nightmare or Fierce Battle or something like that. So those are the rotations. And then we'll have a Super 17 show up two out of the every three turns that we have rotation units come in. And then we got the Cell for some healing. So the Super 17s are going to do really, really good numbers. They're going to gain extra defense when the Meta Rildo is on rotation. They'll also gain damage reduction the turn after that they take a hit which is kind of annoying because we probably won't see a whole lot of that. But the main goal is to stack these four units in the middle. Let's see how we do. All right, let's do this. I'm also trying this out with game audio, so you guys can let me know how that is. Uh, it looks like we have... Oh my gosh, we don't have any of the rotations that we want. Everything is all screwed up. Okay, so for this first one, I'm using Goresh's unit, so he's got max links and he's stupidly strong. My guy's almost maxed out as well, my Super 17. He's missing one link, GT, so... I'll actually put... I'm gonna shuffle out Goresh. I don't want Goresh to do too much. I also don't want this guy to do too much, so... Let's do that. Let's have Metaroldo attack, and then we'll do that. Okay, so let's see how much damage we can actually produce on this first turn. Mega Buster! Haha! <laughs> super 17! No one can stop me now that I'm Super 17. I love this attack animation. I this just looks so cool. Alright, so... Yeah, so we're going to heal back 5% of the damage we... No, not 5% of the damage. We're going to gain back 5% health overall. But that's not going to happen on this turn. Oh my god. These guys are so strong. Those guys are so strong. Okay, so this rotation is also bad. I got to switch out... I got to switch out the 18 and the... Cell. God. Okay. Let's get Android 17 going. And, uh, sadly, the perfect cell will have to go. I don't want this guy to... I want him to stack, but I don't want him to do too much damage. So we're going to give him that. He does have a nuking passive where he... I think he gains, like, 20% attack, 20% defense, or something like that. The reason why I'm bringing him is also to trigger the big bad boss's link. That's the main reason. Because given the team that was presently constructed before presently constructed before. Given the team that I had before this, 
I realized that I had the two androids on one rotation, and then the meta Rildo was going to be paired with the Super 17, which is cool and all, but I didn't really want him to be there because he doesn't have the big bad bosses link, even though he should. It really seems weird that he doesn't. So I needed to bring a big, big bad bosses linking buddy, and I figured another stacking one would be nice. Plus, I don't think I've ever used that cell since I awakened him. Okay, so now we can have the meta Rildo go. We will have some health to gain back here, so this him taking damage will be nice. Uh, jeez. Super 17 is gonna murder. Please don't. Oh man. Are we gonna get an attack for 18? I don't think we are. That is a bummer. Okay. But at least, first turn we got the Meta Rildo going. So he will be stacking attack once every turn. Okay, twice in this one. So that's good. That's good. And he's he's got pretty good coverage just on his own. Because of the fact that he gains defense plus 40% from his own passive. And then he also gains another 60% from fighting a GT hero. Oh my god. Okay, no, 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 this is good. We got the we got the super attack for the purple 18. I mean, int 18. I am playing Legends, so it's funny, because now that I look at the int Android 18, I only think of the purple 18 that everybody would complain about, because she's, like, really strong in Legends. Yeah, I'm, I'm starting to learn some stuff. Okay, so one more turn, we have to deal with this stupid rotation problem. So 17 will finish him off. This is actually good. We probably want it this way. Then we'll have uh, Super 17 stay in the middle, and then we'll have the cell rotate off. That cell will never transform. Every single time I try to get him to transform, he never has. I've always wanted to use his little active skill on the final stage. I can't do it, because whatever team I'm trying to run, I just can't take enough damage for him to actually transform. It's very irritating. All right, so now we've got these two units together. Big Bad Bosses, Link firing, Fear and Faith, uh, Fear and Faith doesn't help so much here because... Actually, no, no, we can. We can lower his defense by 10%. We've got Nightmare and Fierce Battle, so let's look at the numbers. 260,000 attack. This is before he actually does the super attack. When he does the super attack, he gets more. And then, of course, he raises his defense greatly and then also raises attack. So his numbers are only going to get better from here. How can we give... Well, I don't want to give him a nuking attack. I just want to have him stack as much as possible. I mean, this is a pretty good number. Let's see. Okay, so this guy has base links, level 1 links, all across the board. Let's see how much we can give him. Let's just do 6 orbs. How much does that give him? Wow, 254,000. That's really good. Uh, should we do this? Nah, I don't want to do that. I don't want to give this guy more ammo than he needs. I'm actually now realizing that I'm kind of dreading the fact that he is so strong because he's going to accelerate the rate at which we push through this event which could actually end up hurting us if we don't stack enough. Okay, so we took some damage there. We'll heal back 5%. We'll stack with this guy. If we can get a second one, that would be nice. And we don't. Okay. And now Super 17. Oh my god, this guy's AGL, so this guy's dead. <laughs> this guy's gone. Max links, too. Actually, how many links does Super 17 share with Cell? I gotta check next time. Okay. Alright, so now everybody is straightened out. This is good. So these guys are these guys are just gonna take off. It's not even a problem. So we'll have 18 go first, then 17 because less danger, I think. And then we'll pick this up to push that Dokkan attack. Also, we're not gonna be getting a super attack or an ultra super. These are two of my favorite EZA duos. I actually think this might be this might drop down to my second favorite EZA duo. The first one is now the Goten and the Trunks, the new one that we just got. These guys are still extremely good. I still remember my record time, not that I really tried too much, but the fastest I ever did the first Legendary Goku event was a target Goku team with these guys at the helm. They dominated. Absolutely dominated. And I remember thinking to myself, okay, this video I'm going to have to probably scrub through and, you know, take about an hour to go through the 20 minutes of footage. It took me minutes because it was so fast. Okay, we are on the Super Saiyan 3, and we've got some serious uh-ohs happening at the end. Oh my god. I... Oh my god. Am I really gonna have to sh... I'm gonna have to shuffle him out. We still have the Big Bad Boss's Link, which is good. But dude... Nah, I'm just gonna use an item. I'm just gonna use an item. I, I can't. I can't deal with that, man. That's, that's too much. That's too much. This is a showcase, after all. That's more important. So Meta Riddle is going to go first. We're going to have this guy go second. 400,000 attack. 420. 420. And then 160k. All right. And then for the cell... We used a Whis, right? Oh, no, we didn't. Let's use a Whis just in case. 
And then we'll do that. So stats are looking pretty good. His GT boss link, or his GT boss passive, doesn't help anybody on this rotation. It's only going to help the Super 17. So when Super 17 comes back, he will be able to gain that defense. Which is good, considering what I'm trying to do here. Since what I'm trying to do involves keeping each Super 17 out for three turns. Which kind of defeats the purpose of his of that portion of his passive, right? Because in his passive, he will reduce damage received by 17% and gain an extra 17% for three turns after the turn in which an attack was received. So it kind of hurts that part, but it's fine. Okay, we're going to save that active skill for the end. Um, who should we have going first? Hmm. We still have Whis active, so I'm going to have the 18 actually go first. So we'll do that. Then we'll do that. Next turn, I think we could get a Dokkan attack. I don't think I want to, though. That's a shame. I don't know if we can actually kill this guy within two turns. Because if we can kill this guy next turn, we can save the Dokkan attack for the Great Ape. Which would be really, really cool. This is going to do... No actually, yeah, yeah. We're not. We're going to be wasting the Dokkan attack on the Super Saiyan 3. I can already feel it, yeah. 294, that's nothing. Thankfully, we're safe here. All right, let's Go ahead and super the 17. That's fine. Give it. 1.4 mil. Not bad. Man. Alright, super 17. Lay it on me. How much damage are you going to be doing? Uh -huh. 1.5? Alright, cool. No crits. I like it. I like it. Did he super? I don't know if he supered. All right, here we go. So, ooh, Metarildo's is going to be tanking really nicely. 341,000 attack, 160,000 defense. Let's pick up the orbs, and then let's see how much we get. Okay, I'm going to pick up non-matching orbs, so let's do this. Okay, what's the stat line now? 477,000. All right. And now we're going to give all these to Cell, so Cell will get a nice little boost as well. We actually could kill here. Ooh, that's nice. Yes. we're. I think we're definitely going to kill. I'm going to pick up these. Sadly, for his passive, he gains extra for target Goku. I actually don't think we have a target Goku on this rotation, do we? Is this guy target Goku? He is not. And he is not either. So, yeah. He's pretty nerfed. That's fine. All right. So, let's just do that. All right, no Dokkan attack. We got to kill here because I would really hate to waste this Dokkan attack on this guy. This is always the, the main play you want to be doing, right, when you're doing this type of a run. Save the Dokkan attack for the heaviest hitter on the run so that you don't have to worry about it for for too long, maybe one rotation at most. All right, we got, we got two attacks in. Let's get a good stack here. Come on. Here's one. Can we get a second one? Oh, my God, that's it? Oh, jeez, come on. Oh, you got to kill. Give me a crit, something. Is this the friend unit? Please tell me this is the Goresh one. I think it was. All right, cool. He's dead. All right, Dokkan attack coming up. Kind of sucks. We're not going to be able to use it on the Meta Rildo, but it's necessary. We've been stacking attack with the 18, so she's got 340,000. So this should actually do pretty nicely. Let's do that. Um, let's do that. And next turn, yeah, we want to bring the red down so we can heal a little bit. Let's see how much damage we can do here. Purple, 18. Boom, 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 boom. Gonna go all out. Three hundred and forty thousand. She's actually progressing somewhat at the same rate as the Metarildo, minus the 120% attack bonus that you get when supering attack. Super attacking, supering attack. 1.3, that's it? Okay. Sure, I guess. Alright. That's weird. <laughs> okay. Alright, we did about 2 million. Man, it would have been nice to give that to Minerildo. Are we getting a Dokkan attack? Or, not Dokkan attack, super attack? Please don't attack Cell. Cell's not going to be back for two more turns, so if we take near lethal... I'm going to have to waste an item. Okay, he dodged it. All right. Uh, we got some... Oh, we're fine. We're fine. Okay, so stat check. 380,000 attack for the Rildo. When we pick up the... Orbs. 
He is now at 535,000. So you can tell that his his stats are going up. Um, I know I could have probably picked up these before, but I just want to push the Dokkan Gauge again. Let's do this for the Cell. He'll be fine. Cell's going to be just fine. He's going to be stacking no problem. I kind of want to just give this to the Super 17 so that we can kill this guy faster. So yeah. Super 17 will probably nuke him, which is fine. Also, I'm noticing this run is starting to take a little, little while. Okay. Oh, he's a... T oh my god. <laughs> it's 400,000. Bro, okay. Well, uh, lesson learned. He... Wow. Okay. So, with his greatly raising of defense, with his extra defense plus 60, with big bad bosses... And his defense plus 40 from his passive. We cannot handle a great ape super attack. Unreal, dude. That was crazy. That's insane. Alright, let's go ahead and use an Android 8, I suppose. Jeez. We gotta kill this dude fast, man. Come on. Oh my god. Alright, 18. Go. 418,000. I mean, look, he doesn't have damage reduction, right? He doesn't have a whole lot there. If we brought more support, because he had no support from anybody else, other than the Lynx and his own. So if we had a bit more support, we probably could have been able to reach that threshold where we wouldn't take so much. It's just that GT bosses, it's just so lacking right now. So this showcase is, I guess, kind of ill-timed, but better late than never, right? Because he came out a while ago. Alright, who's he attacking? 17? That's fine. 89k. That's still a lot, man. These guys aren't progressing that fast. The 17s are pushing are pushing the event faster than I wanted. 2.3. Alright. One more turn, we'll give it to the Rildo. Sweet. He's not going to be attacking again. He he just did, right? Like, there's no way. Let's give all these to... Ooh, six orbs. Very nice. He's going to get a nice boost there. Stat line for the Rildo is now at 600,000 attack for the stacking of the super attack. Okay. Let's give this to the perfect cell. We'll be alright. Yeah. And then we're gonna heal back whatever damage we take here. 5%. We're fine. I forgot to check how much health we have exactly. Ooh. Ah. Oh, I was kind of hoping for one more. Okay. Alright. On to the penultimate stage. This guy's not stacked. <sighs> he has to pick up probably like 10 orbs every single time he shows up. On the finale. We might actually lose there. That's okay, though. The showcase is really telling you, you know, it's it's helping you get to know the unit quite well. Meanwhile, this Android 17 is going berserk. Alright, there's the 17 and 18. Do I want to give this to... I do, actually, because he's not going to do a whole lot of damage to begin with, and I want him to protect himself. Oh, dodge? Dodging? Dodge! Uh! Oh! Oh, good, yeah. Way to dodge that, buddy. Oh, jeez. It's been a while since I've done this event. I'm a little out of touch. 500. Okay, good dodge. Good dodge. Man, we might actually have to push with those Super 17s. Maybe I should move out the cell and throw in the Super 17. Nice. Oh my god. Okay, good dammy. Oh, oh, almost had a third one. Okay. Alright, so he attacked really early. So expect that again next turn. I don't think I don't think the Meta Rildo can handle that. Yeah, I don't think the Meta Rildo can handle another attack. So you know what? We're learning his limitations. He would not be able to do a good job with that attack. So he's at 460,000 attack. And then, if we do this, he's now attacking, so he goes up to 650,000 attack. His stat line is progressing very well. His attack is going up. You just gotta bring enough support or someone else to tank, because he's not gonna do that for you on these types of events. Alright, so now we got a bunch of orbs to give to the cell. So this is why I did this, because with 11 orbs picked up, he's gonna be gaining a bunch of attack and a bunch of defense. Look at that, he's got almost at a million attack, 300,000 defense, so he should be fine. Then we got the Super 17. We may want to use... 
I don't even know what we want to use here. Do we want to use an Aider or a Wheat? We probably got to use Aider. I don't think we're going to win this. It's fine. Let's just let's just make sure that the uh, we can get the most amount of time possible with that Metarildo. Okay, so with 600,000 attack, how much are we going to be doing here? He does cut supreme damage, mind you. 1.3 mil. All right, there we go. Double stack. Very nice. I feel like this guy's going to be a lot better on Super Battle Road. His, his permanent attack stacking perk is kind of a... It seems... I'm not going to say trap. It's just kind of like a misleading thing. Like You, you would think he'd be able to hold his own with that temporary defense bu uh, boost and then the attack being permanent. Okay, with all of that... Took about 100,000. Okay, that's not bad. That's why I brought that cell. When we get more GT boss units, this will be a lot nicer of a showcase. I'll probably revisit this when that happens. Alright, so we still have the defense boost for this turn. Ooh, we're getting a lot of orbs here. Oh, we healing nicely. That defense boost along with the damage reduction that the 18 has will be very nice. She's at almost 800,000. We got the 17 putting in work, and we got perfect cell. Ooh, nice dodge. Oh, yeah, yeah, she'll be able to dodge for the rest of this fight. And then going into the last one, she won't need to dodge because she will have type advantage, and then she'll have the built-in, is it 18%, 17% damage reduction? So she'll be all right. Just got to get past this. We actually may have a chance. We're also pushing that, that second Dokkan attack. We gotta get some additionals though. Like we, we can't be we can't be getting by with these tiny little single stacks. Alright, 82. 101. How much are we doing here, bud? If only I could get you to transform. If only. Nice dodge. If only I could get you to transform. Oh my god. No way, dude. Okay. All right. I'm calling an audible. We got to move out the perfect cell. We got to move him out. All right. So Super 17, I actually think... No, I'm going to save his active skill. We're going to do that. So Super 17's going first. Um, That might have been stupid, but it's fine. It's fine. We're going to do that. We're going to do this. And then uh, we're going to do this with the Metarildo. I don't care. This is not a showcase for him. Seven, five. All right, let's do this. Okay. We're going Dragon Balls to the wall here, folks. He actually went through with the Super 17. <laughs> Was that a good call? Probably not. That's okay. I got to save that active skill for the last fight. If we can get there, we're not getting there. <laughs> we're not getting there. Oh, but you know what though? He will have his damage reduction now when he comes back because he will be sticking around. Is this the Goresh 17? No, this is my 17. Oh, that's not good. I mean, my guy's, he's got almost max links. He's missing just GT, but yeah, that's not good. Good stack from the cell. He's, he's giving me the middle finger because I'm sending him off rotation. So he'll be gone for a little while. And yeah, so this is where the run ends. That's okay. It was a good effort. Um, Let's do this. Pick up all those orbs. Those nice red orbs. Let's pick these up. And let's pick up this. Okay. Next turn, we're going to have the red orbs for the... Ooh, you know what? Next turn, I think Perfect Cell's coming back. If we take enough damage here, we actually could trigger Cell's transformation. That could be our ticket to winning this. That'd be down. Did he just dodge? All right, come on. Give me some crits. Here we go. 385. Okay. Additional. Good. Good, 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 good. 700,000 damage. Sweet. All right. He's attacking my defense, guys, so this is fine. It'll still hurt, but not nearly as much as it. Yeah. Oh yeah, we got we got the items to Oh no, we're not getting we're not getting cells transformation now. Oh my god. Away, dude. Come on. No. Uh um okay. So he attacked 
a little bit later. So I'm actually going to do this first. Then I'm going to do this. Because now he's got extra 17% attack. He's got damage reduction. So we actually might be able to kill him here. Yeah, I, I think we should be fine. Oh, and by the way, he's at 745,000 attack, the Meta Rildo. Oh my god. <laughs> 500 k that's too much. We're going to have to wait two more turns for the cell to come back. But at the rate that we're going... Ooh, 2 million damage, okay. At the rate that we're going, I don't know if the cell will be back in time. Come on, give me a crit here. Come on! Ugh. I don't think we're killing him. Which is actually maybe a good thing because I just realized AGL Cell is coming back. AGL Cell, we do not want anywhere... Yeah. Oh, boy. Dodge! Five dodge, buddy! Come on, five dodge! Five! Oh, my God! <laughs> We're going to have to rely on some sheer dumb luck, ladies and gentlemen. All right, heal me. All right. <laughs> Are we going to win? I don't know. 31. All right, here we go. Doke on attack. This is going to do nothing. Boop, beep, boop, boop, beep, beep. Okay. We got to do as much damage as we possibly can because that will give us our heal. We are going into the next fight. With the AGL cell farthest possible spot away from the tech guy. And we don't have any Dokkan attack now on the way. Anytime soon. There's no way we're going to survive until we get another Dokkan attack. Like, there's just no way that's going to happen. Okay. The finale. We've got double Super 17 for this turn. Which means everybody is gaining the benefits of the active... Wait, hang on. Why is my unit able to do it, and why is the friend unit not able to do the... Oh, he hasn't taken enough hits. Wow. Goresh's Super 17 hasn't been hit nearly enough times. That's funny. All right. So, with the active skill, what happens with the 17? He causes ultimate damage, lowers enemies' attack and defense by 17%. That's nothing, dude. Oh, that's nothing. Let's just do it. No one will hurt me while I'm Super 17. Super 17. <laughs> Prepare to die. Wee! Not even a million. Oh, it's clean right now. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and keep the... <laughs> we're so dead. We're so dead! Uh, Yeah, we're just going to have to... Let's see what happens. This could be the last turn of the showcase, folks. But you got to see what this guy can do. Look at this. 569,000 attack. So basically 570. When he picks up these orbs, he's going to go up to 800,000 attack. Pretty good. All right, we got we got a bunch of power this turn. If he doesn't... Yeah. I think we're gone. I think, I think that's, the, <laughs> that's the end of the showcase. Whee! What? Hey, we're still in this. Bro, we're still in this. Oh, no, he dodged it. Come on. Why you got to do this to me? Is the perfect cell coming back? We actually we actually might get away with this. Cell might be coming back next turn. Oh, and he can... Oh, yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Yep. He's tanking it because he's got that extra defense from his super attack as well as his passive. Okay, 1 million from my super... Oh, God. My super 17 doesn't have the rainbow stat. Hey, we got the cell. We actually got the cell transformation. I've never been able to do this on the legendary Goku of NGT. <laughs> we got him. Okay, we're back in this, folks. Yeah, boy. All right, so the reason why I'm still going to keep the 18 in front is because she has 18% damage reduction. So that will help along with the type advantage stuff. Okay, so let's do that. We're actually, we actually could win this now. Let's do that. I think I'd rather move the perfect cell onto this rotation with the Meta Rildo. But does he have... Oh, he does have big bad bosses now. Okay. Actually, wait. No, I think he had it before. Whatever. Yeah, so he'll be on that rotation. So that's that's really good. That's really good. And by then, we actually might be able to get his active skill going. This could actually turn around. We haven't used any items against the final level. Pretty cool. 
One million. All right, he's attacking 18. This is what we want. It sucks, but we're going to take some damage, but we'll be able to tank it somewhat. 170, we'll deal with it. I'll take that. Look at that. 2,000. 2,000. These easy A's are so good, folks. Get them done. Some of the best easy A duos in the entire game. You have to get this done. Can't remember how old they are, but they've been around for a long time. All right, here we go. Perfect shot. That's what it's called. I'll say. Seven hundred. Hey, he gets an additional two. Okay. All right. All right. The turnaround is happening, folks. One thousand. Oh, no, ten thousand. Twenty thousand. All right. Uh, this is the. Uh oh. Never mind. We're dead. We're dead. There's no way. When did he? Oh no, he supered early. He supered. Oh my god, I don't know how we play this. If I move him here, no, he's got to attack first. We're dead. All right, so let's use the active skill. No one can beat me when I'm super seventeen. <laughs> The way he says that attack is weird. It's like he's got an accent. Electro Eclipse Bomb! Might? <laughs> no one can beat me when I'm Super 17, mate. Okay, how do we get ourselves the most amount of key spheres? If we do that, we'll pick up five. If we do this, we'll also pick up five. Let's save those purple orbs for the next turn if we can survive that long. So we'll do this. And we'll do this. The attack. Oh, look at that. He's almost at a million attack stat. He, he basically is. That's one million attack stat for the Meta Rildo. You know, that's going to be my title. That's going to be my title for the video. Deal with it, folks. All right. As long as he doesn't super... I mean, dude, I, I think we're dead no matter what. We got nothing, man. Is As long as he doesn't super the cell at the end, we're fine. For this turn, anyway. I, we're dead. We're dead. There's no way. Meta Rildo has to attack twice to cover himself. He's not attacking... Oh, God. <laughs> Is he going to attack Metarill, though? Please don't. He Please don't. Please, uh, 1.5. Ah, okay, good, good. Oh my god, he's going to attack. He's going to attack Cell. Ah, uh, it was a good run. Big bad bosses came in handy. We ain't, we ain't walking away from this one, folks. 60. Oh, 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 oh. Ah! Is close. But you know what? You got to see what the Meta Rilda was capable of, and that was the most important thing. It was a good try. It was a good try. Was it the most optimal team? Maybe not. But like I said, the GT bosses category is pretty whack right now. Don't have too many useful units other than some of the main ones that we got recently in summons. So we'll have to probably reevaluate in the future when we get more units. Plus, Global doesn't have the same name update. We don't have the Shadow Dragon Saga free to play unit from the battlefield. So. It's going to be a little touch and go for a little while, but we'll, we'll get there. Um, but still, I like the unit because now he's actually relevant. Just remember, he used to be this guy, okay? So he's come a long way, and he is much, much better. Keep in mind when you're trying to run GT bosses to bring this guy on your team. So, folks, that's going to be it for this showcase. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like down below. Let me know in the comments your thoughts on the unit, your thoughts on the category, and did you dig the run? Because I actually had a lot of fun doing that. Let me know in the comments down below. Also, be sure to subscribe for more dope content in the future. Hey, click the notification bell so that you let YouTube know you want to see more of my stuff. Do it! Thanks again. Stay tuned. And always remember to dokon responsibly.